today I'd like to talk about hamster essentials. The first essentials I'd like to talk about today is the food bowl and the hamster food. It's very important when you fill your hamster's food bowl with its food not to overfeed the hamster. This amount is just about right because hamsters tend to put a lot of their food in the house and store it. They don't eat it all straight away so it's important you do not overfeed your hamster. It doesn't matter what sort of food bowl you get as long as it's suitable for your hamster. I will advise that if your hamster's older like mine is and they still climb on the bars of the cage I advise that after you've fed the hamster you take the food bowl out of the cage because it is quite hard if it's a glass or ceramic one and they can fall on top of it and hurt themselves so what we do is when our hamster has finished eating we take it out because he tends to climb and fall down and we got a bit worried that he might fall onto the food bowl or hurt himself so if your hamster is like that and it falls around the cage because it's been climbing it's best that you take it out of the cage I mean you don't have to take it out of the cage but in my opinion I think it's easy if you take it out of the cage after they've been fed but in some cases you don't always need to use the food bowl I'll give you an example my hamster is two and a half years old now and he started to um, put his food in the corner of his cage rather than eating it from his food bowl so it'll just go into the corner and start eating his food so if that's the case you can just put your hamster food in the corner of the cage and they'll eat it from there and take it into the house anyway i think i've covered everything i needed to about food and the bowl that i know of thank you for watching bye